proc it off, look at it, and replace it. If this is uh, from a classic, I think the one for the later models looks different, but you can see that there's uh, these nylock nuts on the back, and then bolts go in from the front. And this is a, a sprocket specialist sprocket that I used the last time. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is loosen up the bolts. Now the bolts are loosened up, I'm going to take a, uh, a ratchet, and this is a 12 millimeter, excuse me, 13 millimeter, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the bolts. So coming off the bottom is both the nut and the washer, so we're going to do that six times. Okay, so we've got, we've got all the nuts. We've got all the nuts off. Now we're going to take the, the last of the bolts out. Kind of interesting. And uh, then we're going to compare this sprocket to the uh, to a new sprocket because that's how you really know that you need to change it. All right, so we've got the uh, the old sprocket and the new sprocket. One thing I want to point out is this sprocket says 47 on it. I don't know if you can see it, but this one does too. When you put the sprocket on, you want to make sure that the number is facing the outside. Now, if you look at the teeth, you can see that these, the old teeth are a lot pointier than the new teeth. And also, you can see that the, uh, the groove is symmetrical on the new one, and it's not on the old one. So if we put them like this, put them like this, and you can see that the old sprocket is, is worn, which is why I'm replacing it. Okay. All right, now I cleaned the hub up a little bit, why not? And uh, with, the, with the 47 showing on the outside, uh, just put the sprocket on and then put the six bolts in. I'm going to use brand new nuts because these are uh, these are nylock nuts, and you're really not supposed to use them more than once. And the ones that are on there, I used a couple of times already, so I bought some new ones. Okay, okay with uh, with the washers and the nuts on, I'm going to tighten up all these bolts until they just stop. Don't want to don't want to really torque anything yet. So this way, the uh, the sprocket is sure to be centered on the carrier instead of being slightly off center. Okay, so with all the uh, all the bolts in, in and snug, I'm going to torque them. You could uh, look at the torque spec or if you think you know what you're doing, you can just rely on your hands. So I did opposite ones, kind of like torquing lug nuts. I want to do them opposite. Now we're going